This is all over Thing Pad X240. It was the cheapest on eBay for just £49.50. It said it had 4GB of RAM and 120GB SSD, but did it? Well, let's find out. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad X240. It's actually quite a decent computer. This thing came with a 250 gigabyte SSD. I mean, it was advertised as 120, but we got a bit of an upgrade. But it also has 8 gigabytes of RAM. It did say on the eBay list that it's meant to have 4, so... I don't know if they gave me the wrong computer or something, but I'm not complaining. But as well as that, this CPU is an i5-4300U, and I think it was advertised as an i5-3400U or something, so they might have misclicked or something, but... Yeah, I mean, 8GB of RAM, this was meant to be 4. It is only a dual-core i5, but I've been using it for about a week, and to be honest, it's actually a decent computer. Another good thing about this is, you might think that's the only battery, but we can actually take this out... And then watch this, it'll still turn on. There are two batteries in this thing. The internal battery is full, and then this is just a backup. The battery life on this, even though this is from like 2014, it's about, what, 10 years old? The battery life is still quite good. I think this is also the upgraded battery. You can get the really thin ones, but I think this is the, the beefier one. They didn't really show you the battery in the eBay listing, so I didn't really know what battery I was getting. And this thing also has a fingerprint sensor right here. It's, it's a bit temperamental, but, you know, at least it has one. Apart from that, a bit of the bad bits. The keyboard's alright, it's okay. It's not as good as this keyboard, though. This is, this is an older i3, and it it has a lot more travel, but it's still all right. This trackpad is terrible. Literally, it's... There's, there's too much travel. Look at how much that thing moves, and then compare it to this. Small movement, it's... So we're going to be swapping this trackpad out with this one, because I've read on the internet, and apparently this fits. This cost me £7.99, so... Peter was like 57 quid, but this ThinkPad also came with this 45 watt charger, which it's not very big, but you know, it does the job. So now that we've gone over sort of the computer and the specs, what we're going to do is we're going to opening this thing up, replacing the thermal paste and replacing this trackpad because this one feels a lot better than this one. Uh, this has got some grease marks on it. As long as it's better than this one, that's all that matters. But before we do that, we're going to run a Geekbench now and then one after we've put the thermal paste and everything on and see if it improves or not. So I think, yeah, there we go. I've already installed it. We're, we're going to do it plugged in as well because... All right, so we're going to run the CPU benchmark and then, well, we'll be right back. So these are the results. We got a single core score of 933 and a multi-core score of 1732. That's not bad, to be fair. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shut all this stuff down. We're going to take it apart, replace the thermal paste, and then upgrade the trackpad. Let's take this battery out. So it should just be as easy as taking a couple screws apart and then shoving it all back together. Does this screw... Oh my god, these screws are extremely loose. Are they meant to be that loose? So since someone has been in here, it should be easy... Yeah, all right. Yeah, it should be easier to open i'm assuming it comes out this side and then we can just angle it off is that screw still in i think it oh there we go the screw must have still been in oh okay we have got we've got another slot here and some spare antennas so theoretically we could plug an external gpu in here this is the battery in here looks like it unscrews yeah look at that eight gigabytes of ram it does look like it only has one slot so we can't really make it to 12. so let's unscrew this battery because we need to get to that trackpad so first we're going to unplug it so let's just unscrew this i don't think this battery is glued in oh there we go it wasn't cmos battery and our um, Assuming the trackpad is just these two screws and it slides out. Now, this is double side taped in, I think. Should we try and pry it up? Okay, well, one of these things have just came out. I think we may have done it slightly wrong, but uh, yeah, I don't think that's meant to happen. Let's remove the cable anyway. This thing was meant to come out, but it's double side taped in. Now, luckily, this cheap screwdriver comes with a little pry bit. So yeah, there we go. We can actually pry it out. There's a load of crusty stuff under there. So if we just give that a quick, quick blow and why. There we go. And well, now I assume we just place the other trackpad in. Yeah, there we go. Looks like it has the same connector, so we should be all right. How are we going to do this? Now we can slide that. Oh, there we go. That feels a lot better. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the screws in and then we're going to see if it works. Oh, yeah, look at that looks a lot better. Why didn't they just use this trackpad normally? All right, let's shove this battery in. All right, so now if we can... Let's see if it turns on. Are you going to turn on? Put some power to it. Power's not plugged in. There we go. All right, we're turning on. I have seen on the internet that these clicks won't work because you need to download drivers for it, but as long as... Yes, the clicks work! 
Oh my God, do these work? So these are the ones you need to get drivers for, but the, the main clicks work. Why didn't they just put these trackpads in them? So now that that works, we can unplug the power, flip it back over. And now let's replace the thermal paste. So it's this thing here. We just got four screws. We can probably use a screwdriver on it, actually. Oh, so it does look like there are plastic washers underneath each one of these screws. Look at all that crusty list. There, there is still a bit of water on it in the center, to be fair. But now I have read on the internet that you're not supposed to put thermal paste on there so we're not gonna do that we're gonna put a bit of alcohol on here all right so since this is a think pad we're not gonna use the cheap thermal paste we're gonna use some mx4 which is actually good thermal paste and also because i'm actually gonna be using this computer oh all right well that cables just became detached there is a slight bit of tissue jammed in there we want to make sure this thing spreads evenly so we're gonna sort of not fully tighten it make sure the thermal paste is spreads nicely uh get this tissue out of here because well, you know what? It's part of the thing now. Now we can put this fan cable back. We can put this one back. There we go. Pop you in there. And now we can put everything back together and we should be good to go. We can slide, I was going to say main battery, but it isn't. The secondary battery in. And let's turn it on. Yeah, look at that. All right, we should probably put this trackpad back together. Yeah, this click is a lot better. Why Why do they have to use this thing? Why, why can't they just do this? Yeah, it's just these don't work because... They need drivers. You know what? We'll, we'll download this one, even though it's not the right one. Detect and check. Come on. I don't know what this does, but we'll figure that stuff out later. I'll find a tutorial or something. How do we reassemble this? Because I was not expecting this to come off in like four different stabilizers. That's a strong metal back plate, to be fair. It's quite, it's quite, quite tough. And then we can just... Yeah, there we go. That seems to be doing something. I don't think it... Well, you know what? It's... It's in one piece instead of two, so let's now plug this back in, run a Geekbench score, and let's see what score we get this time. Finished, we have a single core score of 933 and a multi core score of 1736. So it has gone down a little bit, but it will do that normally. All right, so now that we've done all that stuff, we need to find some drivers for this thing so now we're going to try and download the drivers to get these three buttons working uninstall your current snap ticks alp drivers what oh this thing uninstall okay so i've uninstalled that what do we do now all right so now it says reboot so we're just gonna restart it we might as well plug it in okay trackpad is still working and my background's changed wait it works wait i didn't even have to install anything wait what it works Right click. So literally all I, all I had to do was uninstall that one driver and now my clicks work. That's handy. <laughs> Didn't even have to install anything, just deleted the driver and it works. Done that. Should you buy one of these things? Yeah, why not? If you want a small laptop, it's only like, what, 12.5 inches? I'll get one. And it is actually quite cheap for what it is, to be fair. But when this thing was you, it probably cost them about a grand or something like that. Thank you people for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll see you next week. Transition.